Hello everyone, welcome to our experiment. Now we have two pack of white fluffs. Do you think is this cotton? Hmm, when we check the other one. How about this? Do you think is this cotton? No? Or yes? Okay, it's confusing. But it's for sure that those two are water. Okay, then let's put them into water. Yeah, it gets a little wet, but it still stays there. So let's see what happens for the second one. Oh no, really? Where is it? Now it is, now it is gone, totally. Nothing is there. See you guys? Okay, let's check this out. Hmm, interesting. Now, what could be the reason behind that? So, let's discuss about it while we're watching the video one more time. Cotton and cotton candy have different solubilities because they are made from different materials. Cotton is not soluble in water because it's a natural fiber that is made up of cellulose, which is insoluble in water. Cotton fibers are long and strong and they do not dissolve or break down easily in water. Cotton candy on the other hand is highly soluble in water because it's made from sugar, which is a highly soluble substance. When cotton candy comes into contact with water, the sugar dissolves quickly, causing the cotton candy to break down and lose its shape. Who doesn't like cotton candy, right? But do we know the science behind it? The science behind cotton candy involves the process of caramelization, melting and spinning sugar. To make cotton candy, granulated sugar is heated to a high temperature until it melts and caramelizes. The sugar is then forced through tiny holes in the spinning head of the cotton candy machine where it is rapidly cooled by air and solidifies into thin strands. The rapid cooling of the sugar strands creates a network of fine sugar threads with air pockets in between. This gives cotton candy its unique fluffy and light texture. The cotton candy machine is designed to spin the sugar at high speeds, using centrifugal force to distribute the melted sugar evenly across the spinning head. The shape and size of the spinning head determine the thickness of the sugar threads and the final size of the cotton candy. Who doesn't like a chunk of cotton candy? Well, of course everyone! And guys, stay with your curiosity. Always wonder about the science behind the things. Bye! See you!